I have several AI tools and software that give me an unfair advantage in the Etsy print on demand space. Let me explain exactly how they work and how they're helping me scale my business and my shop a lot faster and easier. First is a print on demand company with built-in product design software called Gelato. Now this website handles everything from printing the designs onto products like t-shirts, calendars, wall art, tote bags, greeting cards, you name it. And then the shipping and the logistics as well. You don't don't need your own press or warehouse and you don't need to spend any time making the actual products yourself they handle everything for you. Gelato also takes care of the sourcing of the suppliers for those products as well. So you don't have to worry about the stock levels ever, realistically. It's a game changer. Not only that, when you get a sale on the product, they'll also instantly print that on your actual product. They'll ship it out and then they'll even input the tracking number onto your Etsy order as well. So your customer can track it and then you can get paid since they can connect automatically and then sync to your Etsy shop. And the best part is you don't pay anything until you actually make a sale. It's a pay as you go system, which means you keep your overhead costs relatively low, which is important for any business. In my opinion, if you'd like to try gelato, there is a link in the description below where you can sign up completely free and test it out. Trying to scale a print on demand shop without it is like trying to compete in a formula one race with a Toyota Camry. You won't get very far and the competition is just going to overly lap you and lap you while you're struggling with the things that they're not even thinking about because they're already taking care of. Now, the second software that I use is Vectorizer. This tool allows you to recreate popular designs very quickly and efficiently by removing backgrounds and isolating specific colors. It's incredibly cheap, like $9 a month or so, and it saves me dozens of hours each month that I used to spend manually cutting out these designs that I absolutely hate it. It is an absolute game changer for design work and I don't have to spend time doing it myself anymore and I also don't need to pay a graphic designer to do it either. I wish I knew about this like a year or two ago. It would have given me back hundreds at least of hours back into my life. Then to create better listings than your other competitors, I'm also using ChatGPT and the built-in Dolly integration. But here's two specific ways how I'm actually doing so with it. Right now to find proven sellers on Etsy, it's very easy. You can use a software like Everbee who will streamline the entire process and spoon feed you those actual products. Tutorial for it linked at the end of the description if you wanna learn more. Or you can just find a shop that's selling well with a lot of ratings by clicking down pretty much any listing on a main keyword if you search or even on the homepage and then just clicking into their past sales and looking at their recently sold items. Then simply take a screenshot of their design, ask ChatGPT to recreate something similar but better and this works really, really well and again saves you so much time. Now you have, in most cases, a better design. You have your own original design directly based off something that you already know is proven to sell. And ChatGPT can also help you improve on their SEO and generate well-written keyword stuff titles, descriptions, and tags in a matter of seconds. Again, based off something that we already know is proven to sell with good keywords. You wouldn't copy their stuff verbatim, right? Like you're not copying their title, their description, or their image, or their actual design. Instead, you're telling ChatGPT to recreate it and rewrite it better with more relevant keywords, but keeping the best ones in there, obviously, as well. And by taking this approach, you can emulate that listing success while enhancing it slightly in both the design and the SEO to ultimately outrank and achieve more sales of that actual primary listing over time, of course, it's not an overnight fix. Now, using ChatGPT for this process not only helps you rank better organically, but it's also gonna ensure that once you start running ads, your ads are more effective as well. Because one of the things that I've noticed when running ads on Etsy is that Etsy might categorize your products slightly off if your listing isn't super precise with the keywords. That means that you'll end up spending ad dollars on results that don't really align with your product and people might get confused, right? They might click out of curiosity on that ad, but if it's not a well-optimized listing from the start, they're gonna get turned off leave and then obviously that's gonna waste your money and that is crucial. Now, another way that you can use ChatGPT and Dolly to create listings is to come up with relevant, well-researched trending ideas for insert whatever you're selling here, right? A t-shirt, a poster, a card, whatever. Then it'll spit back a certain amount of ideas based off how many you ask for, right? You could say, give me 10, give me 50. And then literally tell it to make number one. 
tell it to make number two and go down the list. It's very simple. And regardless of which approach you use, both can work very well. And ChatGPT can come up with some good trending ideas that nobody else is really doing. And now you've got high quality designs at your fingertips in seconds. And you didn't have to pay a graphic designer thousands of dollars to do it for you. And you didn't have to spend hundreds of hours doing it yourself and banging your head against that tedious wall. Now, the next step would be to input those designs into vectorizer, like I touched on before, and then rip the background from them to get a transparent PNG image that you can then put on all your print on demand products. And this takes about 10 seconds per design. I have done so many tutorials showcasing how to use this. So there is one or two linked at the bottom of the description for your reference if you want to check it out. And then once you have that transparent PNG image, you can head over to Gelato again, the company that you've paired to do all the heavy lifting for you with this business, and just simply select what product you'd like to put that on. They will walk you through how to upload the design in seconds, and they'll even suggest the best prices for you to put it at so you can account for all the costs associated with them printing your item, shipping it to the customer, and literally everything else from A to Z. And that is super helpful because you want to know what your break even is so you never go below that. And you also want to know what your exact margin is if your profit is 15, 20, $30, whatever, which is also going to help for your ad costs and knowing what you can spend if you want to go that route in the future. Plus, Gelato shipping times are often the fastest to customers compared to the other print on demand partners because they focus on mainly partnering with local production facilities. And this is especially beneficial if you're selling on Etsy, where quick fulfillment can lead to better reviews and customer satisfaction. But it also helps if you list your products on other places like TikTok shop too, since their shipping times often fit with the TikTok shop shipping requirements, which is a game changer. Plus, you can also automate TikTok shop drop shipping using them too, all from that same gelato account just as easily as you could with Etsy. These three tools have given me a massive advantage. They have saved me so much time, they have saved me so much money, and they help me pump out a ton more high quality listings very quickly. But as always, this is just works for me, so I really hope it helps.